Hi, I'm Matt Kerr. I am the Entertainment Market Manager for ETC, and I'm here at Full Compass to show off the Color Source 20. Color Source 20 console is designed for small venues or small productions. Uh, it's designed to be very straightforward and easy to use, but with enough features in there to uh, make it interesting to the more advanced user as well. First thing you'll notice, every time you power on the console, you're presented with these tutorials, which will help get you started. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start from a completely blank show, and you'll see right now that the user interface is very clean. There's not a lot of distracting information here. Uh, we put all of the commonly used functions right on the top and more complex stuff down a layer. So right now it's telling me I need to go to patch, and the fixture I have connected to the console right now uses RDM, so it automatically populates here. If I had more, you'd see a list. And what this allows me to do is simply press the button, or I could enter the channel number for where I want it, and that simply, I have now control of that fixture, and I could change its color. The next step, I could record a cue. Record, cue, and I could type in here any kind of label that I might want, and I can make adjustments to the time if I wanted. I'll change the color again and record my next cue. My cue list will always show in the upper right-hand corner, just like that. And if I want more information, I can see it here by simply pressing the cue list. Now, I don't have to use RDM fixtures to patch. I can actually add devices here as well. So if I had additional fixtures, I can enter in a different start channel if I wished. And give them an address, just like that, and like that. So they'll show up right here. So I'm not limited to RDM devices. Any will work. And it can also patch regular dimmers as well. Now you'll also see that I have a conflict here. Conflicts show up in red. And I can very easily readdress my RDM-based fixture right here. Now that's done. One of the neat features of this is I can actually rearrange my channels to reflect how they're laid out in the room. You can think of it almost as a mini magic sheet. So right now, I have a rig that has both incandescent and LED fixtures. And I've positioned them how they might be laid out in the room that I'm working in. This allows me to very quickly select and control the fixture from the touch screen as well. The other thing I can do is I can actually use the sliders as playbacks. So I've been using them as individual channels right now. but here, I can select and record playback memory this time, and I'll pick fader 11. I can make them blue, and I'll record that to fader 12. To change from channels to playbacks, I simply select playbacks. Just like that, you'll see on my screen that I now have control of that set of fixtures. And Kind of a neat feature, you can actually add them together to mix color. So that way I can actually have a fader that's red, green, and blue for a background, and I can just use the faders to mix the color I want. So as you can see, very straightforward and fairly simple. But let's say that this is still too complicated for somebody, and they want it even more simple than what we have. Well, we have the ability to do that. You can simply go and change the mode from complete to simple, and you'll notice a lot of the user interface has now gone away. And I'm presented with one page of channels and four memories that I can record into, and that's it. Very straightforward, very simple. So I can just bring up a series of fixtures, place them into a color, and 
simply record and press under the fader. And just like that, I now have that look recorded. So it's perfect for weekend volunteers who you want to reduce it to a very simple control set um, or the band teacher at the, at the high school, um, anyone who just needs really rudimentary control. So just another option for simplicity. So that's a brief tour of the Color Source 20 console. If you have questions or wish for more information, head on over to fullcompass.com or contact your Full Compass sales pro.